Okay. So, I'm back, and we have a review. Um, but before we get into the review, um, I'm back now. Uh, I was sick. I had two backpack si sicknesses, but I'm back now. And, uh, I've tried to been doing, uh, quite a bit of shorts, but I'm gonna get back into doing reviews, and today, um, well, actually, let's start off with some backstory and talk about. So, over here, I'm going to grab the Brigham 200s, which I did a review on at the start. They seemed like a really good headset, and for a while, they were a great, awesome headset. But in the last, like, month, I've been noticing problems, static, uh... Audio has just been not really good. Um, but everything has been fine other than that, except for this week, the audio went totally even worse. Um, when I was talking to myself, I could hear like echoes and everything. So we need to get rid of that. And also, not a big fan of wired. So I'm gonna set these back over here. That's why we have Razer coming in with the wireless headset. This is the Razer. I don't know how to say it, Kyra, or Xbox, um, now this thing is like, probably, I think it was like, I don't remember how much it was, or it was 80 bucks, you can see right there, it was 80 bucks, everything is on there, so, start off, and the box looks pretty nice to be honest, um, this is decent compared to the Recon 200, I have the Recon 200 over there, and, and the high stands, and, I do think this box looks slightly more cleaner than the Recon 200. I really like the simple boxes comparing to the old one, or the old different designs. So, start off with this pull tab up here, which I'm assuming is going to pull something out. Okay, that was interesting. And I'm going to pull out. And, oh, okay, this is decent. Way better experience of unboxing. Razer Kyra for Xbox. I hope you guys can see that. Um, hold on. Oh, not straight to it. But, uh, this says that. And for gamers by gamers. Um, this is actually a perfect time to say. Uh, we have a review on the Huntsman Mini coming out probably next week. It'll be out next week after our next video. And this is also by Razer. So Razer is doing a really good job in producing products. And... I think they're probably one of the best companies doing anything, really. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming the setup guide, which I already watched videos on, is pretty much one of the most simple setups ever. And, oh, okay, so we have the headset right here, but we're not going to take that out yet. We're actually going to look in to, I believe, what this um, probably wires something. Uh, what the heck kind of contraption is going on here? I'm confused, um, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get to those wires, but we're just gonna- Oh! Turns out you just pull it! Didn't think about that. And there's inside the box. Uh, pretty plain, there's a cloth in there. So we're just gonna put that box to the side. Um, nice. And this is wireless, so I'm assuming this is gonna be our charging cord, which I'm hoping will be USB-C and nice and pretty. Yes! I love Razer's cords, specifically, like, any of them. They're just so awesome. They come with a nice little, like, holder here, which is actually pretty cool. So, USB-C, I'm assuming that's connecting to that. Ah, perfect. I have just enough things on my port to plug this one in. And this is actually pretty similar to a Huntsman Mini cable, except a different color. So these, you don't need, just throw them out, really. You don't need, they're just caps and stuff. Okay, a nice braided cord. I like to see it. Razer is always known for some awesome cords, and honestly, they might be the best company for just doing cords anyways. Okay, so we'll just set those to the side. Now for what we've all been waiting for, the headset itself. So I've watched videos on this, and now I'm ready to see what it actually is. Okay. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh my god. It smells weird, but, uh, okay, nothing we need there, that was quite a nice, mm. what do we got here, um, it's just this, oh, that's just, uh, the cover for the thing, I'm assuming I'm supposed to undo this, uh, yeah, oh my god, these look so good, 
Okay, these actually look really good. They are a simple design. I'm gonna hope that this is fine. And yeah, oh, okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to fit that on perfect. More or less. And wow, this is actually a really nice design. Um, let me finish taking this off. All right, so as you guys see, update your headsets firmware. So I'm assuming we just go to a website and download the Xbox headset firmware updater at HTTP, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and undo this. Okay, perfection. So got a nice razor symbol up here and this is pretty much the headset. So we're gonna get into some of the things. So this is a wireless headset, which basically means there's no wires to connect to your controller. But the main thing about this is it's Bluetooth. So you sense it to your Xbox, and which means you do not have to do any of that connection. So Razer uses, I wanna say on here it's 7.1 Bluetooth or whatever. So it says it's frequency response is 20 Hertz, which is not bad. 50 millimeter on here and pretty much I'm gonna say it's 7.1 just checking the specs here to make sure I'm correct about what I'm saying um I don't know it won't say anywhere for some reason but I'm gonna assume it is 7.1 I'm pretty sure the usual of doing 7.1 all right so we're gonna move on to the head things which I almost remember were kind of you can remove these. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna mess with that because I don't wanna mess with that. Tell himself. Okay, and let's see here. We've actually got a reader here to say how high it goes. It's actually pretty nice. And on the other side, that also says the same. Um, it's got some nice Razer logos on the front. And yeah, basically we're going to put these on. Am I putting these on right? I just wanna make sure, yes. Okay, and uh, you can adjustable mic. Can you take this mic off? No. Okay, so I believe that's with the pros. You can adjust the mic. Well, you can anyways, but that's extended. I don't know how much I like fully extended. A little uncomfortable, but we'll just simply go there. Um, It's got nice green stitching, as you can see. Um, I'm assuming you can wear it around your shoulders like this. It's actually pretty comfortable. This is actually nice, and if you can just do that and get it out of the way. And we've got some more padding up here, which is also green. I like this little uh, padding in. Let's see our stretch test. And yeah, that's not bad. Um, this is plenty flexible. I would say for a $100 game headset that this is the best for Xbox. Unfortunately, you cannot get the Xbox version for PlayStation, which is pretty fine, honestly. Um, so if you want the, the signature colors of black and green you're gonna have to not be able to use these with the PlayStation. You actually have to get the PlayStation edition, which is uh, blue and white, or black, blue, black, and white. So if you want Razer signature colors, there might be some on there, but unfortunately you're gonna have to not be able to use these. Um, yeah, it's for the Xbox Series X, which is what I'll be using it on, and Xbox One, which if I get my Xbox One on, I will use it on there. Um, let me see if there's anything I'm missing here, um, as far as connecting. Oh, connecting! <laughs> Why did I not think of that? Alright, so connecting to pair, you just turn on. I'm assuming.